Hi everyone. I hope everybody is doing good. Um, I haven't been uh, uh, recording any videos uh, since I've been busy. It's been a busy season. I work as a full-time property manager, so a lot of uh, people moving. So I had, but I did do um, uh, some of the live auctions. Uh, um, actually, they are online auctions, but I do previews and then go pick up the auction lots. So I have lot. Uh, I have collected lots of items. Uh, I'm going to share it in this video. I'm going to record it in uh, different parts because there are a lot of items. So the first lot, as you can see on the table, I got a lot of uh, paperweights. Uh, some are signed, some are not, uh, but they were all beautiful. So I picked them up. Um, these were from a collector uh, item. I picked uh, four boxes from him uh, with paperweights one with glass um, most of it is cranberry glass he collected a lot of that um, and then i see a lot of miniatures like ceramics and glass with miniature items he had a whole curio of it so i uh, bid on that and then we have more art and ceramics as other the auctions that i've been uh, in the past month so please uh, um, if you like this video, please share it, like it, comment on it, uh, because I want to keep making videos, um, but without viewership, it's very hard to continue. So if you can please uh, do that, I really appreciate. And if you like anything in the lots, please let me know in by email, vintagedivaamy at gmail.com, or you can visit my uh, eBay site, Etsy site, uh, Poshmark, Mercari, uh, whatnot. Uh, offer up. I mean, these are all at my own website on vintagedivaamy.com and you can buy these items. So most of them have been listed. So um, I do have a, a listing service. So they list my items pretty uh, fast. So most of it, but might be a few items that are not in there. But if you like something that's not on the any of these sites, all the links are in the description. So if you're interested, please uh, uh, browse through them. Um, I'd really appreciate if you like and subscribe and comment on these videos too, because I'm trying to get uh, viewership on YouTube as well. So hopefully um, I'll uh, record more videos and more often. Um, all right, let's go into the lots. So the first lot that you see on the table, these are for paperweights. They are glass paperweights. Uh, some are Murano, some are not, and a few are signed. So there's a lot of uh, variety in the paperweights. But they are, I don't re really collect paperweights, but they happen to find a one big collection. So I picked it up as an auction. So I, I'm, I'm trying to sell the paperweights. Um, there are more paperweights might be in the past that I have uh, in my on my on my site so please check them out too um, they're not in this lot but they might be in the past because I've had paperweights in the past all right the first one let's see it's it's a beautiful like look at the caning it looks like a Murano but it's actually Mark Silvestri it's um, the label says Silvestri but it's a beautiful paperweight with caning. With beautiful caning. Um, it's a nice, really heavy paperweight. All right. One, this one says Carlsbad Caverns, New Mexico. Well, it's, I've been there, so the caves don't look like these, but these are really a depiction. But look at the work, the bubbles and the florals. I mean, I'm always amazed how people make these paperweights with all the artistic inside. The art, it's like art inside a bubble. Really pretty. Very pretty. I like that's the sticker on it. Nice. None of these paperweights have bruises or any damage on them. Now, this one is not marked, but it's a really nice floral like a whole flower inside the paperweight really nice when it has a three-dimensional look it really looks pretty all right 
This one is very controlled bubbles, but it's not polished like a Murano. But look at the, the small bubbles, the ingredient sizes with an amber color. It's really pretty and look, look like a summer. So with the inside, there's a big bubble inside the, the dome. So it's like, it's really pretty. Then these, I love these swirls inside the paperweight. Look at the rainbow swirl inside the paperweight. It's like an X-shaped paperweight. Really nice. I prefer the X-shaped more than the rounds. All right, I have a marble one here. This is not marked, but it looks Italian. It feels Italian made. It's a solid, like look at the variegation. The colors in the marble are alabaster. But look at that, it's an apple paperweight. I have another apple. Apple paperweights are very uh, popular. So this one has like an iridescent. It looks like a Sylvester one to me. Um, look at that. The iridescent glass, art glass paperweight. Really nice. There's a, there was a sticker that's been peeled. So it, it looks like a Sylvester one. But it's really beautiful. These are pieces of decor as well as function, you know. Look at this huge paperweight. It's really heavy. Uh, there are some, but these are not Bulicante. They have just bubbles. And there's lots of uh, art in there. I don't know what these are meant to be. Look like fishes. It looks like an aquarium. It looks like an aquarium paperweight. Look, looks like an aquarium inside there. Really pretty. This is like a green color with bubbles. Look at these bubbles in the bottom. There's a big bubbles and the small bubbles. Really pretty green color. That's forest green. Really pretty color. Okay. Again, big apple with lots of control bubble. These have like gradient sizes from small to the large ones and then you have the apple stem and a leaf here clear glass clear bottom very beautiful and that's a summer so like an apple inside an apple it's a very beautiful piece as i said apples are really popular let me get that okay these again, like these um, swirls, very pretty, egg shaped, really large size, paperweight. Uh, one more with swirl and a, now this is Mark Dynasty Gallery, uh, heirloom collectibles. This is a nice size paperweight. Dynasty makes lots of paperweights. So really pretty, really, very beautiful. All right. This one is like these um, um, tear, uh, what do you call, tear shape or teardrop uh, paperweights. Now this is signed, it's signed MP. MP is Miriam Perkak. This is Polish glass, made in Poland. Yeah, Miriam Perkak, Persak or Perkak. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. But I have a few of those pieces. But look at the beauty of this piece. Really, there's an amber bubbles inside the clear glass. It's really very pretty. And it's the tear tear drop. The shape of the paperweight is very beautiful. And there's the initials MP. Right. This again is a beautiful paperweight. Now this is St. Joe's. St. Joe's, if I'm not uh, uh, wrong, it, it, it's a Canadian. St. Joe's production, St. Joe's paperweight. It's really beautiful. Look at this trumpet flowers with the bubbles inside. Oh, it's really beautiful. Green and yellow. Very beautiful. This one is not marked. It has a uh, cloudy bottom. But look at this. It's such a beautiful look. I suspended the bubble with bubbles and you have flowers. And look at that. It's beautiful inside. The 3D effect of these paperweights is beautiful. Again, a cloudy bottom and lot, lot, lots of these florals. These are red, it's similar to the yellow floral. Instead of the yellow, there are the red floral. So with the same trumpet flowers with the bubbles in them. Very beautiful. 
Now the cobalt blue, I love these uh, paper paperweights with the, I think they are like bees. They are like bees inside on a flower. The red bees with the blue cobalt blue flower, that's a striking paperweight. All right, let's do this later. Now this is again amber. Uh, there's no signature on it or a mark on it. But again, it's Bulacante. It's similar to the green one that I showed before. But this is like orangish color with lots of bubbles. Another one with the blue and the fishy fishes swimming over it with the blue light, the contrast with the teal blue and the cobalt blue. It's really beautiful. This one is also an egg shape with a, like an aquarium theme. Lots of with a fish inside and it looks like an aquarium in there. A couple of fishes and then a... this is beautiful again. Now this is also Marian Pirkak made in, that's a sticker with the Pirkak crystal made in Poland. That's a swirl, the round swirl instead of the straight swirls. These are the round swirl. The green within the clear, it's very pretty, very, very pretty. Striking. Then you have this globe with all the etched uh, continents. Really pretty. You can mount it on a uh, brass stand. I have brass stands that are sold separately. Um, this is really pretty. You can use it as a paperweight. Alright. This one is with just a white flower with a bubble in the middle. A smaller size around. This one, this one had a sticker too, label sticker. I think it's Silvestri again with a whole flower inside the, uh, the paperweight. Very nice. This one is again cobalt blue and it's marked. Hold on, let's see. Katniss, Moonflower, Scotland. So this is a Katniss paperweight from Scotland and it's the Moonflower. I don't know why it's called the Moonflower, but it's red. It looks like a really shimmery cobalt blue with bubbles inside. It's really pretty. You can find more pictures on the listings, on each listing. Oh, this is now doesn't have a mark. I'm surprised. It looks so beautiful. It feels heavy, very heavy for its size. It's a clear bubble with swirls again. Like these are like really not like tight swirls, but these are loose swirl, but it's beautiful. Okay, this is Murano for sure. This is a Murano one. Look at that caning. That caning is like an inch thick. It's, oh my God, it's beautiful caning. And the 3D effect is su superb. Look at that caning. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It looks like the caning, like it's small when you hold it like this. And then once you look at from the top, it's like they have bloomed. The caning is so striking. It's thick caning. You can, you can know when a paperweight is from China and they make those fake caning and it doesn't even. But this is beautiful. This is the Murano, art from Murano. You can be pretty sure. 100% sure this is a Murano. Art plus. This is Murano too. It's clear again. And look at the lattice, the lattices and the caning. It's beautiful. Oh, it's so striking. The blues and the white la caning and the uh, blue lattice pattern. It's super. Let's go. This is again a cobalt blue and a clear teardrop like the you know, bubbles inside. Very beautiful. I love the cobalt blue paperweights. Again, the blue and the white. Oh, this is so beautiful. I can show it closer. This is beautiful. There's a single, like a bubble, teardrop bubble in the middle with like uh, the, um, it looks like, yeah, you know, starburst. Um, with the stoppers pattern over the cobalt blue oh, base. It's so beautiful. It's a striking paperweight. I have one more that's that's a pinched like a donut 
like you can hold it this way this is from dynasty collection again uh, it's with cobalt blue and the same white floral inside white floral and a bubble inside and it's shaped like a donut so it has like you can hold it this way you can hold it inside it's pinched it opens out so i'll show you better so you hold it this way you can actually put your fingers and hold it this way they're very heavy but it's really beautiful beautiful all right we have quite a few now um this is again the same globe paper paperweight these are very popular you can put them on a brass stand they look really striking and these have like the continents painted in gold or a cobalt blue art glass it's really pretty all right let's see these smaller ones these this is Urgman, uh czech republic it's like a flat spaceship like kind of shape uh, paperweight really beautiful again it has this original sticker on it and it's beautiful these are in perfect condition so that is one one more heart shape um, this is oh this is signed by some RTH that's the initials on it and the base it's heart shaped with all the venturine in it it's really cute and really like a, nice as a gift really nice people right. quality is good all right this one is again Senjo. it's the canadian one i have one more i have a similar i think these were from the same collector see look how similar these are green and yellow flowers and then this one also has green and yellow green yellow pink everything that and this is Senjo's. it's a it's a different shape it's like a uh, cloche or a dumbbell shaped but it's St. Joe's it's marked there St. Joe's and St. Joe's all right I have some of these let's move these out now this one is again made in the Polish glass it says Pistol made in Poland and it's signed MP it's these teardrop shape I love these with paperweights now that I found them in the blot I love them. These are the pear shaped and such a beautiful amethyst color inside. It's really pretty. I have one more tear drop. This is also handmade in Poland or oh, Jablonski. This is AJ Adam Jablonski. Look at the teardrop shape. Nice with the pink bubble, big bubble. Oh, it's so beautiful. And then I have two more left. This one is Miriam Perkak, again Polish. That's a big uh, teardrop. It's like, it looks like a summer so effect inside with a blue and a green teardrop, smaller teardrop inside. Look at that. Peacock colors. And then oh, the last one is this one. This is Adam Jablonski. AJ signed here on the bottom. Sorry. AJ if I don't know if it'll all focus and this is the Adam Jablonski that, that has an original sticker on it tag on it and look at that it's beautiful again it's a, that teardrop look with inside look at the so sculptural inside it has green blues and browns and teal it's really beautiful 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 so i have quite a few uh, if anybody interested please um, uh, check out the links in the description or you can contact by email vintagedyamy at gmail.com please support this channel you can like comment and uh, uh, subscribe to it uh, it's free it doesn't cost you anything but it helps me make more videos so i can bring more of these auction finds and collections so I hope you love these uh, paperweights as much as I do. Uh, I can't keep them, so um, they, they will be for sale. So if you are interested, please check out the uh, links in the description. Um, or if you can't find it in the links, please email me at vintagedyamy at gmail.com. I'll let you know how to get them. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, uh, I'll be uh, more videos with other from this auction. So look forward to it. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Bye.